Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brian. I am very pleased to announce that I have broken over 100 subscribers. I'm very happy, so I want to thank everyone for helping that feat. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel, and it's really happening uh, faster than I thought, which is great. Um, so if you have not subscribed to my channel, please, if you like this, what you're seeing, subscribe, hit that notification bell that will let you know when I post a new video. I also have my Instagram account, which is Brian's Upper Valley Artistry. I have a Facebook page with the same name, Brian Upper, Brian's Upper Valley Artistry as well. And you can find me at TikTok, same name, Brian Upper, Brian's Upper Valley Artistry.com. It's a mouthful. Anyway, so what we're going to do today, I'm doing a Dutch pour, and I'm doing it on a kind of a play on a wave motion. So uh, many videos you'll see where a uh, canvas is turned sideways and you get a uh, run of colors up and making an arc over and kind of making a wave. So I'm kind of doing something like that, but it's different. Instead of bringing it up and over, I'm kind of just doing a scoop and a scoop, almost like a like a giant U, I guess. Um, so once I get you down on the canvas, I'll talk about the colors and then how I'm going to lay it all out. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I have a 20 by 24 canvas, not a 16 by 20. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to make like a giant shape U. It doesn't need to be exactly uh, straight or an exact U shape because we're going to pour the colors along it. But we do need that. We do need that that the the line to be fairly close. So we're not going to make a complete U like this. We're just going to come down like this, and maybe over here and then feather the colors in. So today's colors, of course, we're gonna use the top is going to be the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, and the bottom is Artist Loft Brilliant Blue. And then the colors we're going to pour on top is Deco Art Metallic Amethysts, Amsterdam's Pyro Red, Deco Art Iridescent Violet Blue, Gonna sprinkle in a little bit of treasure gold from folk art. And we're going to also sprinkle in a little bit of Amsterdam titanium white, and then finish it off with Amsterdam greenish blue. Hoping these colors, these colors should be okay. Um, most of them have already been mixed. I did mix up my white this morning. So I think what I wanna do design wise, let's draw this out a little bit. So I think I want this to come up here, kind of bring it down into this U shape, bingo, along there. So the white up here and the blue down here. So we're gonna have more negative space in the white. So let's get a little line here. Didn't have much going on today, so I decided to use today as a little bit of mixing day. Let's get the hair dryer, we'll blow this out. here with the blue
Okay, let's torch for air bubbles. Strangely enough, there's not a lot, even though I mixed up this paint today. Okay, so let's start layering on the colors. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some color, uh, some coasters with these colors when I'm done. We'll see how this piece turns out. Almost made a mess. Dribble in just a little bit of white here. And a greenish blue, greenish blue from Amsterdam. Let's go with a little bit more. There we go. Okay, I think I got enough paint on here. Let's torch for any air bubbles. I'm gonna try to get kind of an angle up down this way. play with the composition and I gotta figure out how I'm not to stay out of the paint Let's find my straw here. Let's see if I can reach these. Very nice.
Okay, we got good symmetry over on this side. Got some good cells coming in here. It's a little bit of swooping down. Put my dryer down here. Gonna leave the composition just the way it is and torch for air bubbles. Okay, I'm gonna take you down off the tripod and show you this wet result. Be right back. Okay. Start up here. I love all the negative space. Nice clean look. You can really see the purple. Metallics, look at all the cells that popped up. I can't wait for this to dry. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fix my drips, touch up my edges, and then when it dries, I'll put it up on the wall so you guys can see what it looks like dry. It's hard to get an angle on this big canvas, so. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Okay, guys, here is the dried result. This came out really nice. It definitely got darker at the bottom with that blue. Um, let me bring you in for a close up. Got some nice cells and some great lacing in there. And the colors, of course, you know, when they're dry, they look a little muted. But once I get the crystal resin on it, as usual, it's going to really bring these colors back to life. I, I mean, I'm just loving all of the cells tiny cells and this and all the lacing that really came in little hints of magenta that really popped out i'm really loving this so that's it i will show you what it looks like once i get some crystal resin on it if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when I do post a new video. And as always, all my pieces are for sale. So you can email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. Okay, guys, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend.